Well, they oftentimes are so uh, proud of themselves for working so hard at it, and they should be, and they've completed some songs and they've recorded them. A common mistake is to send them around and then wait for the calls to come uh, where people love their songs and want to help them. That isn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, people need to be uh, modest because the best writers will never tell you that they're awesome. They'll tell you they're barely making it. Uh, you need to not assume everybody wants to cut your song because you like it and the people back home like it. You need to submit to the industry opinion and see what people really think. And, and please don't fight that opinion. People will argue with you. This is a great song. Tim McGraw could cut it. And I say, oh, well, you know what? Okay, I'm going to argue with you about it. To try to listen to what everybody says and make your own opinion. Don't take anybody's word as gospel. But I think if you play songs for 10 people, you can have a pretty good idea of your commercial viability. Yeah. So you just got to be realistic. And you got it. You've got to network and get in that group of people where sometimes you might be in an event and maybe someone doesn't even know you, but they've seen you at so many events, they just assume you're in the club. I mean, there's more than one way to skin a cat here. Right. You know, appearances are important, and uh, you just got to jump in there. If you're shy and can't do that, you have a hard time because you can't just throw your songs out there and then go back to your house and wait. It just doesn't work that way.